Okay, gang, welcome back. As promised, we got another relative motion problem, but a little bit harder. This time we got a linkage. What does this relative motion thing mean anyway? Right? This is the equation we talked about last time. Relative motion. What, why is, what does that mean? That just means that if one part of the system moves and it's hooked to the other part, the other part has to move in some relationship to how this one moves, right? Relative motion. And that depends on whether which direction it's moving, the velocity direction, and then which way things are rotating. And right, and that's where this equation here comes in. So we're going to solve this one. Now, last one we did just had one piece to it. Kind of simple. This one has two pieces. A little more complicated, but you know what? We're going to solve it the exact same way. We're going to do it just like we did in statics. This looks like a good old-fashioned frame problem, doesn't it? from statics world. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's use that key to take this guy and break him into two parts and let's draw a kinematic diagram of this piece over here and this piece over here and find out what's going on. Let's go. Okay? So piece number one is just this guy and piece number two is this guy. Okay? So what's going on? Okay, so this thing is rotating about 0.0. If 0.0 is fixed, that's important. Okay, do you agree that if this is spinning, that this whole bar is rotating? Same thing, right? This is our omega, and it's given as 12 radians per second. Okay, now this end is fixed. It cannot move. Okay, so then I, over here at the end, I've got velocity. Now this guy, right, is going to be moving in a curved path, right? It is moving in a curved path. So you might think, yo, this thing is going to have maybe like a, a VY and a VX. Uh, this is point A up here, by the way, okay? Now, what about VY? Is it possible for the bar to be accelerating this way? No, because it's fixed. It can't do anything accelerate that way or that way. Tangential to that point, always. So this is only this guy here is definitely going to be zero. And this guy, let's just instead of calling him VX, let's just call him VA. Because VA is one of the things we're looking for, right? We're gonna determine VA, VB, here's VB down here. Um, and what is omega B? So there's this kind of omega here also. We'll call him A, B. What's up? Wab. Wab. Okay. <laughs> and so we need to find him. So let's go over here to this free body. Okay. There's omega A, B. And then over here, there's velocity B. Okay. And then at this end, we're going to have this guy. Okay. It's going to be going that way. Velocity of A. Okay. So we got to find this guy, maybe from this free body, and then go over here, or kinematic diagram, rather. I'm used to free bodies. This it is a free body of sorts, isn't it? Um, and then we'll come back and find this. So let's just step one, okay? Step one, let's just do this all by himself, okay? Now, what do we have here? We have this. VA equals V naught plus omega uh, cross R A with respect to O. And you can get this, remember this is the start, this is the finish, okay? And you get this in order, the same as over here, right? B, B, A, 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 O, O, okay? So let's go, we're doing this guy up here. So let's start off with, let's do this bit here first, okay? Let's get that written as a vector, okay? So if I wanna go from O to A, that's A minus O, Okay, the origin's kind of easy, isn't it? Let's just make that zero. We'll make this zero. Gosh, we need some dimensions over here, don't we? Let's make this, that looks like, oh, 30 degrees. And then let's make this 0.8 meters long. Okay, that's how, how long that is, okay? So, oh, what does that mean this down here is? Well, we're gonna need our calculator. Here we go, got a calculator. So this is um, 0.8 cos 30, 0.8 times cosine of 30 is 0.693. Uh, 
And this one over here, 0 0.8 sine 30. 0 0.8 times sine of 30 is 0.4. So point A, where's point A? It's up here, 0.4 in the sky. So 0, 0.4, okay? So that's going to be 0 minus 0, 0 i hat. 0.4 minus 0 plus 0.4 j hat, okay? So let's take that and let's cross it with omega, which we know, right? We know, 12 radians per second. So here we go, cross product, i hat, j hat, k hat. This is omega cross r, right? So r is 0, 0.4, and 0, and this guy up here is 0, 0, 12. Let's go. i hat, cover up the i, what do we got? 0 minus 12 times 0.4. Is that 4.8? That's negative, isn't it? Remember that? 0 minus that guy, okay? The J hat is going to be 0 minus 12, okay? And, oh, 12 times 0. <laughs> That's 0. And then K hat, cover up the K hat, 0, 0. That's nothing. So the whole thing just comes out to that, 4.8 i hat. Now that makes sense, doesn't it? The velocity here, right, this is moving in that direction, okay? So let's go, um, let's, let's, let's get our equation, which is this guy. How about velocity of point O? Anyone? The velocity here? Velocity of point O? Well, it's zero. It's pinned to the world. It's not going anywhere, right? So we're looking for VA, that's what we're looking for. So VA is equal to, well, zero plus this guy. So just minus 4.8 meters per second. That's going to be VA. So what do we just do there? We just did the X component only. Okay, VA was in the X direction, right? X and the I hat was in the X direction. So really, truly, this was like the sum of the X's here, okay? That's where that came from, the X components of this equation, okay? So now we have that. Let's, I think it's time for part two, because the only thing we needed was VA. We got him, so this guy is 4.8 meters per second. Let's do this guy over here. We're going to do the same thing. This is the equation, actually, isn't it? Because we have Bs and we have As, okay? So let's do this bit here first, okay? So we need our omega and we need our r, i, j, k, 0, 0, omega, and then r. Oh, we need r, don't we? It goes from b to a. That's a minus b. Okay, so a minus b. Okay, and what is that guy going to be? I don't know. That guy is going to be... Um, oh, I'm sorry, it goes from A to B. Yeah, I did that wrong, didn't I? It goes from A to start, A to B, so that's B minus A. I almost did that backwards. My brain was going, that doesn't look right. Turns out it wasn't. Okay, uh, A is easy. We got him. Uh, a is there, 0 0.4. And remember, this is our origin. So B is just 0 0.6930, isn't it? 0.693 and 0. So, that's going to be 0.693 i hat minus 0.4 j hat. Put that over there, okay? 0 0.693, 0 0.4, and 0. Let's do our, our uh, cross product over there, okay? We don't need this anymore, do we? We don't need this anymore now that we have that. Uh Okay, we'll leave that, but we just need some room here, so let's get rid of all this. Perfect, okay. Let's go, cover up the eye, what do we get? Zero minus 0.4 omega. So minus 0.4 omega i hat. Cover up the j, what do we get? Zero minus 0.693 omega, but remember the j hat is a negative, so minus a minus turns him into a positive, doesn't it? So plus, did you see that? Cover up the J, 
zero minus this guy, right? 0.693 omega. But then that whole j hat term is always negative. So the minus turns back into a positive, okay? And then of course the k hat, zero minus zero, okay? All right, so that is our, our uh, vector from this guy here, okay? So we're gonna do it in two parts again. Remember this, okay? So we're gonna do, let's do the x's first, okay? So the x components for this equation, right? VB, the x component of VB is zero, isn't it? So that's gonna be a zero, plus VA, VA in the x direction is 4.8, plus the x component of this, which is, oh, it's negative, sorry. Oh, smudge A. 0.4 omega. So move that to the other side. Omega equals 4.8 divided by 0.4, which we all know is 12 rads per second. So there's our omega of, of this guy here. Boink, boink. Okay. So we found, what do we found? We found VA, we found omega AB. Now we need to find VB, okay? And we're going to get that by the second half of this vector equation, and then we're going to do it in the, in the y direction. What do we get? Okay? So what's the y component of VB? Well, that's what we're looking for. VB, okay, equals VA in the y direction. He's all in the x, so that's going to be zero. Okay? And then what's left? The y component of that, which is that... Okay, 0.693 times omega, which is 12. So V, the velocity of B, which we know is going to be up, right, is going to be 0 0.693 times 12, which is 8.32. Okay, and that's the last thing we were looking for. There's our three things right there, right? Okay, what do you think? Is that good stuff? All right, let's see if we can spin this around a little bit and look at some, uh, some instantaneous centers. Hang with me.